Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a comparison between these two septic markers. So I recently had to gain access to my septic tank and we weren't quite sure where the access point was. So now I'm going to put one of these markers to show me exactly where they're at. Now this one is already put together. It's got like this little washer and you're going to screw it into the ground. This one you do have to put it together and it is a little bit bigger. So it's very simple. You're just going to screw this on. These are threads, and now I those are threads also. I, if the ground's soft enough, you could just poke it in the ground, or if it's hard, I could screw it in. So the bigger one is right at five and three quarters by about six inches. This one is a little bit smaller, three and a half by about six inches. And they both say on the top what they are, septic marker, septic marker. Okay, so let's go put them in the dirt where my septic tank access point is. Okay, so we had to access our septic tank lid to have it cleaned out. They do recommend at least every five years, but the guy that cleaned it out said it should be cleaned out about every three years. So this way it should be a little easier to find. I got some grass seed already planted, but if you want something smaller, use this one. But if you want a really big thing, push this in. It's gonna sit right below the surface so that you can ride over it with a lawnmower, but you're gonna know exactly where your septic tank is because you'll be surprised. I think mean, this is all disturbed right now, but we did this five years ago and we had a really hard time finding the same spot because your grass grows back, it settles down, and we just couldn't find it again. So I think I'm gonna put this one in just because it's a little bit smaller. You can kind of step on it. That way it's kind of below the surface a little bit. So I hope this video helps. Thanks everybody for watching.